Oh, hi. Okay, so my kids would be terribly embarrassed right now to see that I'm dancing on camera. Um, usually if I'm dancing in the car, they look at me and roll their eyes because they're embarrassed that somebody will see me, but now it's out there for the whole world. Hi, kids. Good to see you. Anyway. Isn't that just an awesome sound? Maybe you don't like it, but I like it because I bought it when I was in Guatemala uh, three years ago now. Um, and it was like one of those days we were um, out in the streets of Guatemala and we were walking around town and there was this man with this huge smile on his face and he followed me around for like three hours with this drum doing this. And finally, after three hours of him persisting and following me to every door of every store, I had to say yes and buy this drum. And so now this drum sits in my office and ever since I brought it home, it has brought so much joy to all the little kids who walk in my office um, with nothing to do because their parents are talking to me and they just wanna leave. And so I hand them this drum and they just find all sorts of sounds to play on it. And um, this is an example of a meaningful purchase. This week, we're talking about spend less, right, in our Advent conspiracy theme. Yesterday at Easter by the Lake, Pastor Steve revealed to all of the world that he is not a gift giver. And he struggled when he was in Guatemala to find gifts for his family. This is not my issue. I love to shop and I love, love, love to give gifts. Well, this year, my family is trying to ask the question, and we sat down last night and had a family meeting, asking each other what are meaningful gifts that we can give to one another. See this for me is an example of a meaningful way that I spent money. I mean it, it's stuff right like it is stuff that I keep in my office that um, just sits on the shelf but it has meaning and it brings a spark of joy to me every time I see it as I remember the Guatemalan man who smiled and I remember all of the kids who played with it over the last few years. Um, so what are those things that you have, I don't know, things aren't bad. So let's just say that money isn't bad, spending money isn't bad, but how do we spend money in meaningful ways and how do we give gifts that have meaning to one another this Christmas season? I know everybody's out shopping, um, buying all those presents to go under the trees um, for the people that you love the most. And I just wanna encourage you, um, find the things that have meaning, whether that's an experience that you can have together, like a concert ticket, or whether that's um, something that you know the person would just adore. Um, don't buy just to buy or spend just to spend, but do it in a way that makes people's hearts um, fill with joy this holiday season. Have a great week and continue to have a joy-filled Advent.